Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about uh, jQuery. And in the last video, I kind of set up a simple example using jQuery. Let's do a little bit more with jQuery to get a feel for how it works, right? So I've got a click event that applies to each one of these H1 tags. And uh, what I'd like to do is um, do something a little more complicated, right? So let's imagine all the H1 tags are um, you know, like a group of buttons or something, right? I should really make them anchor tags, but uh, I've already got these H1s here, so why don't we just use these guys, right? So I'll just change this to A, B, C, D. And what I want to do is I want to click on one of these and then make it change to the color red. And then when you click on another one, I want this one to turn red, and then this one will go back to its original color, okay? So uh, so we're going to do this by, by just moving a class name around. And I find that this is like a really cool thing to do. And it really makes, it allows you to do a lot of things really simply. And it keeps your, your code organized, okay? Because we're letting the style sheet determine what the appearance of the page looks like. And then we're just using our JavaScript just to move a class around to change the appearance of something. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a a class name here to the style tag, and uh, the class name will just set the color to red. Okay, so anything with the with the class selected will be color red. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, and we saw before that we can select all the H1 tags with this, right? So it's like, you know, our dollar sign H1, right, with this selector. And then inside the click action, we can select the, the particular item that you clicked on with the keyword this, okay? So what we'll do is we'll first, now here's, here's what we wanna do. jQuery gives us a couple simple methods, add class and remove class, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove um, we're going to remove the class from all the H1s, the selected class, right? We don't know which one has the selected thing, right? So we'll just remove it from all of them. And then we'll add the selected class to the one H1, the particular H1 that you clicked on, okay? So what we'll do is we'll just start here. We'll just make it simple. We'll just do H1. So let's select them all. Say remove... Uh, class, and then um, in here we'll say the class name. Okay, so normally in our CSS we, we would say the class name with a dot in front, but since this is removed class, we know it's a class name, you, you don't include the dot. Okay, so now we've removed the selected class from all of these H1s, right? Because remember, this is going to apply to every H1 that we find, right? Just kind of like CSS, right? And then what we'll do is we'll say this H1, which is the H1 that you actually clicked on, we'll say add class, and then we'll say selected. And again, we don't use the dot here. So that's pretty simple, right? Let's give it a try. So we'll go here, we'll refresh. I'll click on this guy, it turns red. Click on that one, it's red. Hey, there you go, right? And then you can, you know, verify that this is happening, right? By pulling up the um, the inspector, and we can see that the, the bottom H1 has the selected class, and when I click on the Cs here, you can see the selected class moves from here to here, right? And if I click on B, you can see it moves up to there, right? And we can see that it's kind of just moving the selected class around via JavaScript, okay? So there's a really simple example, and um, it doesn't look like much here, but there's actually a huge amount of things you can do with this. Because remember, you can animate stuff with CSS. CSS can change the entire appearance of something, you know? So now we can click and add a class and remove a class, right? Okay? And then that can change the appearance of our entire page, right? So anyway, thanks for watching. That's just a little simple short example with uh, jQuery.